Welcome to the How to Succeed in ECE Without Really Trying. I'm Dr. Linda DeBrunner, and today we're going to be talking about how we can generalize Ohm's Law for inductors and capacitors. So first of all, let's recall the relationships between voltage and current for each of the elements. For a resistor, we had V is equal to IR. Okay? If we make those voltages and currents time varying, we still have the same relationship. What that tells us is that the voltage and the current are not affected in the time aspect by the value R. In fact, it's only affected in the DC part. Okay, so then we can write from physics or previously in the class that the voltage across an inductor is equal to the value of the inductor times di of t dt, where i of t is the current through the inductor. So that's a fundamental concept as well. And finally, for capacitors, we can write the relationship as i of t is equal to c times dv dt, um, where again the current is through the capacitor and the voltage is across the capacitor. Okay, so for each of these elements, we can write the impedance. So the impedance of a resistor is simply the resistance. The impedance of an inductor, we write in the Laplace domain as SL. For any particular value, we could plug in S is equal to J omega and solve. And then we would know the impedance at a particular frequency. For a capacitor, we can write uh, the impedance of a capacitor is 1 over SC. Okay, where C is the capacitance. Taking these and putting them together with our relationship, we can generalize Ohm's law. So for resistors, we still have V of, uh, let's go ahead and put it in Laplace domain. V of S is equal to R times I of S. These are going to be capitals. Okay, for the inductor, we have V of S is equal to L times S times I, of, times I of S. And for a capacitor, we have V of S is equal to 1 over SC times I of S. So in each of these cases, what we do is we still follow along with the idea of Ohm's Law, but we've generalized it to other circuit elements. And so we have um, the impedance of a capacitor, I'm sorry, the impedance of an inductor is SL, so now we have V is equal to ZL times I. Okay, so we can write that as a generalized Ohm's Law, or a generalization of Ohm's Law, as V is equal to I times Z, where Z is the impedance. 